All right, welcome back. He's your favorite relevant YouTuber here, and I did a video last week or two weeks ago, and kind of popped off. You guys like it? Here's a photo of Sasha Banks at the airport, and he early in the morning. Here's how much he loves when you wait outside her terminal, so you can get a photo with her in the morning after she's got off a long flight. She's really having a blast there, isn't she? But I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw something and it, it just really blew my mind. So you know how there's been these virtual uh, fan meet and greets? If not, here's some clips. Provided by Paris, by the way, so thank you, go follow her. All the stuff's gonna be in the like description down below. Please go follow her because she's allowing me to use all these clips. These are all of her meet and greets. But there's this one guy and I totally forgot what his name was on Twitter but he did a meet and greet with Mandy Rose and people just called it cringy. They were rude. They were, come on people. Do you not know how to act? Like, do you not know how to act appropriately? Like seriously, why are my glasses fogging? Not the point. Do you not know how to act? Oh my God, my wrist. People go online and they want to meet somebody. They're nervous. Like why wouldn't you be nervous? Hell, I'm nervous just leaving my dorm anxiety bitches social anxiety is a real thing and then they're really excited once they meet somebody they're just they're thrilled and then some ass jack decides to tell them it's cringy it's stupid and they make them feel insecure about something they were so excited about those are the worst people like seriously these are great things because more people are now having opportunities to meet their favorite wrestlers like because I know a lot of these cricket wireless mean greets are usually like an on a weekday at like noon and that's during school. So a lot of people's parents won't let them skip because it's during the school day. That was the case for me forever. Every time there was a mean greet, if I have class, I have to be at class. That's just how my family rolls. But now you have people who think it's okay. Like what the fuck? What is so wrong with your life? that you don't know how to act. Why is people, why are people just mean to each other, right? Why? Why is that okay? Why can't we just lift people up and just be cool people and just help people? But no, you wouldn't feel the need to comment because somebody's happy, thrilled about this amazing moment, and you feel the need to take that down to ruin something so special for this person. What did they do to you? It got so bad that Mandy Rose had to send the person that she met a message telling them to not listen to the hate. Seriously? Like, I'm, I'm being for real here, seriously. The video has like 50,000 views on Twitter. I was I don't know about you guys, I cry when I see these videos because it makes me happy. Just knowing that somebody is experiencing this, that makes him so excited. Like you can see in some of these videos, especially Paris's, how excited she is to meet these people that inspired her. It's pretty cool if you ask me. I think these are great. I think we should, they should keep them. They're free. You know the mean greets, we're always free. More people are getting access to them. You get to keep the recording. It's more of an intimate moment instead of just kind of like a, hi, picture, cool, out. This is really cool. And I don't know if it's jealousy, maybe because some people, you know, they didn't get one in time, that they feel the need to like go ruin other people's happiness. But those people are scum in the earth. Like, seriously, if you, 12 13 i get it you know you don't know you maybe don't know any better all right but stop stop it being rude on the internet stop it knock it off ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head tax evasion Knock it off. Corrupt politicians, knock it off. Abandoning dogs, knock it off. Bad park jobs, knock it off. No, but like really, like what's going on in people's lives that they have to be so rude and so disrespectful? Okay, now back to the point. Back, back to what I was like originally saying. 
was bopping. <laughs> and I see like a lot of stuff on Twitter. Like it's not just this one person that this happened to. It happened to quite a few people. Why? Like what I've seen is from what I've seen, it's mostly like people above the age of 18 or, you know, 16, 18. But when I was 16, I wasn't doing that shit. I knew better because I was raised right. And you might say, oh, I, yeah, I did it. You know, he did it for a joke. It was meant to be funny and get likes. It's so easy to get likes. Trust me. I mean, don't trust me because I, you should see my Twitter is not popping right now. Please follow, give it some love. So basically, wrap this up. Um, I'm going to teach you guys really quick how to act uh, when this is happening. So first, you see a video posted. Great. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. You can watch, you don't like it, you know, give it a like. Show this person some, some love and support. Let's be a good community out there. Let's stop the toxicity. Stop it. Next, you're going to reply. You're basically going to reply saying, cool, congrats, so happy for you, man. Send tweet. Or, even better, if you think it's cringy and you just... You have such strong feelings towards it. Oh my god, my hand. The white balance is off. If you have such strong feelings towards it, you know what you can do? Don't reply. Don't say anything. If you got something to say, or if you got, if you got something to say and it's not nice, just don't say it at all. I ruined that saying up, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what's up. So there you go. I'm teaching everybody how to act. I understand. I don't act perfectly, but I'm just trying to help you out. It is your neighborhood friendly, relevant YouTuber here. Stay safe out there. Wear a mask. I'm going to go watch Minnesota United. It's on right now. Cool. Cool, yeah. All right. Peace. Follow everything. Links, description, and below. Make sure you go follow Paris. She let me use all this footage. So thank you. I know this wasn't really funny. I know this wasn't really meant. It kind of wasn't meant to be funny. It was kind of more of a serious uh, video. But just know, I got some pretty good ones. Pretty funny, hilarious, great content coming out soon. But this one was just more to be like, yo, what the fuck? This one was a little bit more serious. And I know some people don't love the serious videos. Some people like when I act like an idiot on camera. And I like those videos too. But you know what? This was important. Let's lift each other up. This is 2020 has been already enough of a shitty year. Why make it worse from someone when they're just, they have some soap here and they love? All right, let me get off my soapbox, but peace the fuck out.